Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my Mercury Vapor Bulb collection. So, let's get started with part 3. Here we have a Philips 100 watt. Now this is an A21 shaped um, bulb. Just like your modern incandescent that you see in your house. Comes with this little ring around it. And if you can see in there, you can see that gold color. That's the gold tipping on the arc tube. So this bulb has a very long life to it. And is very good quality, because it was made in the USA. Here's a Philips 175 watt. It's a very nice bulb. Here we have another Philips 175 watt, except this one's clear. Very nice. Here we have a Designer's Edge 100 watt. Open up the box. And there's another box, which we have to open up. Then there's this ring and the bulb itself. It is a very nice bulb and is made by Polar Lights. Here we have a Sylvania 175 watt. Here we have another Sylvania 175 watt. Here we have a GE 175 watt. And we open it up and it's in a sleeve. These bulbs are really hard to get out. Very nice. Here we have a GE 175 watt. This one is frosted and I have two of them. Two of them. And once again the bulb is in a sleeve. It's very nice. I like the coating on these GE bulbs. Here we have a Westinghouse 50 watt. It's very small. You can see the arc tube is way up in there. Kind of a bad picture, but it's really small. I really like this bulb. Wish I had a ballast for it, but I don't. Here we have a Westinghouse 100 watt. Same thing as the 50 watt, except a bigger arc tube. This one is a Sylvania 175 watt, and it is the newer version. As you can tell, it has a different base to it. But, sil but still, the same quality inside. Hope you enjoyed part 3 of my Mercury Vapor Bulb collection. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.